So, um, one of the things that I'm asked most common is to do a demonstration where, uh, uh, where I show off. <laughs> So, you know, it's, it's kind of almost goes against the principles. <laughs> key principles of Tai Chi is to keep your stuff hidden. So, uh, you so I'm, very well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, I would have to that. So, so um, Tai Chi is an interesting feature. Tai Chi is about effortless power. Um, and effortless power uh, can mean a lot of things. So what I uh, what I will do today is I want to see if I can actually clearly show what Ever does how it's about. And so, uh, so typically if you get pushed on the key things that you get to see is something like this. And you know, when you have so much coming in for you, then you actually expect to see a lot of movement. Uh, because movement is actually really cool. So you see movement like wow. this, where, you know, it looks pretty cool, right? <laughs> but you can see the leverage, and so if he comes in, it's actually like I'm under him, and then you can see that he's popping off me. But actually, what's actually more difficult to see is when someone comes in, and you see something like this, where there's no movement, right? So what I want to see, show you is actually how this works. So if someone comes in, typically what we're used to is structure. So, and structure and strength. So you align, you get underneath, and then you push. It does work. It definitely works. But when someone pushes, now watch this. If you relax, it's interesting. It actually stays to the surface. And isn't that interesting? So now, this is actually, this, this is called so. This concept is called so. Someone pushes, and what actually collapses is actually the mind. So, you have a little collapsation. Why? Because you think you need to make space. But actually, it's interesting because if you actually stay, you don't need to collapse. What actually collapses is your mind. So, actually, where you put most of your effort when you train Tai Chi is called Yi. So, Yi is your intention. And so when someone comes in, you actually put it on your heat. So now watch this. So he comes in, oh, okay, there, he was better. His yi was stronger. <laughs> so when you need to move, it's actually when someone's yi is stronger than yours. So you let it flow out of your body. Mm -hmm. But if it actually comes in, see now here, our yi was about the same until the end. As you can see, I need to score out of it, right? But here, my yi is stronger. So now, so if he comes in, now here's my knee, notice this. Now I relax here, and now my shoulder relaxes. And then, do you see how it's actually just relaxation? So this is why Tai Chi is called the art that comes from the mind. Because you can't actually do it with the physical body, because if you do it with the physical body, then do you see this? The moment you tense, you have a you have a resistance point. You can't do it. So the more the tension, the very resistance. Mm. That was really good. So I didn't even get a chance to. No, no, that's good. That's good. Actually. It's good demonstration, right? So the moment you push, actually, uh, tension works. Uh, so my demonstration is not to show that tension doesn't work. Tension works. That's why people use it. If tension didn't work, people would not use it. So if you have something like this, then as you can see, this is. <laughs> Friction always helps, right? Friction always helps. So, so but here you have tension. Now watch this. So if I actually relax, and if I so the people can keep in. So then, isn't this interesting? So what just happened? So he's pushing. Here's tension. So then you can see the tension. If I I'm gonna keep him giving the arms. I'm gonna relax my body because this is a lot of effort. And now I'm going to relax my shoulder. And I'm going to relax my heart. What's difficult is to relax when you're under pressure. So Tai Chi is the art where when someone comes in, 
Now you can see it a little bit clearer, right? This is why Tai Chi looks magical. Because it is truly effortless because it is done to the conduct of the mind. So you have, actually, so this is actually the pushing and exercise. So the pushing and exercise actually does not work if you don't actually apply some level of force. So, so you can see, whoo, so it has to come in. If it doesn't come in, you actually have, whoo, you see, I'm compromised. So through this kind of exercise, it's actually useless in a fight. Who's going to do this in a fight? No one's going to say, let me push your arm. <laughs> but it's a good study. Why? Because, see, look at this. See, can you relax? You see, you, we're going to push. I can push. I can push. You don't need to push. You just need to feel yourself. And relax. And relax. Release. Right? So this is the nature. Yeah, there. So now, do this turn. So here's pushing hands. This is the set. And sometimes it's here. Sometimes it's a little close. Now watch this. Here, perhaps you could just do it. See, here is a little bit. Can you see my shoulder? Come to my state. If you watch, this is not a place where mm. your muscles have good leverage, right? So it's just I relax, I relax my shoulder, and it goes out. And this is why Tai Chi is called fullness, because if you know how to relax, even if you're supposedly in a leverage wise, even if you're in a leverage wise compromised place, actually it doesn't matter. See, it doesn't really matter what the fullness. It actually, you can go whatever direction you want. And this is nature.